Hey everyone, so this is going to be my first nail tutorial. These are what my nails are actually looking like right now. And what I have on my nails is actually called um, Blue Sparrow. And it's from China Glaze. I think it's from one of their neon collections. It's kind of got like, um, it looks glittery, but it's really not that glittery. It kind of just, the glitter kind of gives it more of a texture than an actual glitter. But this tutorial is not going to be about my nails. I'm just going to show you how I do some nail designs that I have here at home. So we're going to start off with a couple simple ones. And what I do, I, I just use um, these fake nail tips to practice. And I just use a duckbill clip to hold it in place. Because since my nails are long, it's very easy to get them all messed up. So for, the first, for this first nail, I'm going to be using Sally Hansen Nail Polish. And this one is in number 33, and it's called Pacific Blue, so that's that. So we're just going to do one coat of this, because this nail polish is so thick, it's ridiculous. So you can see it, it, it looks much brighter on camera than it is in person, it's not super super bright in person. It's kind of a blue with that kind of hint of purple in it almost. But it's a nice color. And it's got a nice finish. So that's that. So that's all I do for that and then I just set it down and let it dry completely. Okay so this is pretty much dry. Um, I, I don't think it's 100% but that's okay because it's just a tutorial. Um, next I was going to use this, which is the um, Stripe Right, And I love these guys. I have a couple of them. I don't know, I wasn't expecting this at all though. Look, what is this? Why is it so thick and stretchy like, like you see this? And my thing is all bent and all the polish has thickened up. I have like stretched to look at that. I have no idea why. So that is officially garbage. So what I'm using instead, which works just as great. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome alternative for those of you who don't want to go out and buy a million nail polishes. This is just crafters acrylic paint. You paint crafts with it. It's like kids paint. You can get this at any dollar store for a buck and it comes with plenty in it. I've just put a little bit here on a piece of paper and I'm going to be using this nail art brush and it's just like a really thin brush so hopefully this works out. So starting from the bottom, let me see if I can do this and show you right. I'm going to come this way and across. It's really simple. So same thing, and I have a shaking issue so I'm trying to do this straight, so I'm usually not like up in the air like this, but yeah. Okay, so I w probably wouldn't have liked to have gone that far, but whatever, you know what I mean. Okay, let me just see if I can do this better this way. So basically what I'm doing is just getting like the left outer edge a little bit on the thicker side and then tape, just tapering it to a nice fine point. Okay, that part's a little messed up. Okay, so you get the idea, don't go all the way to the end. Okay, now using the white, we're going to be doing the exact same thing. So I'm going to start on this side.
and do the same thing. Okay, so um, if I was doing this on my actual nails, I would wait for that to dry, but since I'm not, I'm just going to continue ahead, and now I'm going to be using my uh, silver glitter stripe, right? So just shake that up a little bit, opening it up. Okay, so now I'm just going to go right above the white. So I've been doing the exact same thing the entire time. see that so I for this design anyway I like to really bulk it up so you can really see so it's, it actually looks like kind of like a silver line as opposed to just some glitter Bear with me. I'm usually alright doing these things, but it's very, very different doing it on camera and it's very awkward with the camera where it is. So, if you've got any tips for um, lighting or positioning or where I should be, where the camera should be, then feel free to let me know down below. You would just finish with a top coat. So I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, this turned out not so pretty. Because it's not very neatly done, but I'll show you right now. This is the original one that I did. Here. Now you can see it's very neat and it looks really pretty if it's done right. And these are a few other nails I've done too. You'll be seeing this tutorial next, which is very similar. Yeah, these are just a few of the other I've done. Very few of the other ones I've done, but yeah. So that's what it'll look like with the top coat and when it's done neatly and properly. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for the next one because it'll be up soon. And until my next video, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.